Hey everyone! Today we're going to talk about Firebase. Now, what is Firebase? Well, Firebase is a server that you could connect all your wonderful apps to. So let's go to their website, which is firebase.com. And it's a really good site, so I'm going to tell you to just take the time to go over it. And we'll just go over it briefly right now. So it says build extraordinary apps. All right, so if you scroll down a little bit more. And actually, it's this. Firebase can power your app's back end. So it means it can hold a lot of your data that you're using. So for instance, usernames, uh, users' locations, any kind of information that you need to interact with, maybe with another API, um, all that kind of things that you need, like the heavy-duty lifting for your apps. And if you're, if you're like me and don't know how to build a server, uh, web developers often rely on these back end as a service um, servers platforms. So let's go in to firebase.com and uh, you know it's got a little bit different than parse but we're not going to talk about parse anymore because that's going to cease to exist soon so let's go ahead and get started I have signed in I already have an account it's quite straightforward you're going to sign in with Google and Firebase is owned by Google and Google swears they're going to stand by it so let's hope so just simply log in and once you do like I said, it's really nothing to set up a, a, an account. You can set up a free account at, at, to begin with. All right. Now, here's where you would set up a, another app. We're not going to go ahead and do this right now. We're going to do this in continuing tutorials. This tutorial is just about getting started with Firebase, how to um, install it in your Xcode projects, and get it running. All right. So um, first thing we're going to do is go to Quick Starts. We're going to go to iOS on the left-hand side. And then we're also going to click guide. Now this guide will take us through all the steps in getting comfortable with Firebase. So it's understanding the data, saving data, retrieving data, and so on and so on. So we'll walk we, we will work through this eventually in the upcoming tutorials. Today we're worrying about installing and setting up your iOS SDK for Firebase. So like I said here, you can see create account, we're going to download the SDK, installing it, and getting started in Xcode. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open or create a new Xcode project. So those of you that have been following along with some of my YouTube lectures or some of my online courses will be very familiar in setting up an Xcode project. So I'm not really going to go through that right now. There's plenty of that uh, in my course. So let's go right now. I'm going to open up my Xcode. Create a new project, single view application. I'm going to call this, let's say, TCL for the code lady. Make this lowercase, TCL, fire, hmm, if I can spell, fire base one. Now, I already have one of these in here because I have done this before, but I'm just going to overwrite it or replace it. Oh, no, I already did it. Okay, so we have TCL. Well, apparently, I added an E. There we go. <laughs> TCL E, Firebase. One, you can name your project whatever you want. All right, so now that we've created this, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna close it out. That's right, close it out. So hit the red circle, it is gone. I'm gonna minimize this just to see my desktop. Let me do that, there we go. And here it is, right here, this one over here. TCL, Firebase One, fantastic. Now. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to install Firebase using CocoaPods. For those of you that are not familiar with CocoaPods, let's go back up to Firebase and into our installation and setup. And this shows you uh, a little bit about CocoaPods. So I'm going to just command click on this to open up in a different when uh, sorry, different tab. What are CocoaPods, you might ask? Well, actually, CocoaPods hold all the dependencies for projects. Here you go. CocoaPods manage library dependencies for your Xcode project. What does that mean, you might be asking yourself. Okay, so sometimes when you have to incorporate things, uh, a certain frameworks, there's a, a dependent files or frameworks that you need to include those. So CocoaPods actually allows you to incorporate libraries and their dependencies. So you're kind of uploading everything all at once. Now, if you do not have CocoaPods installed on your computer, I'm gonna go through that right now. It's literally one line of code. So let's do that right now. I'm going to hit my command spacebar. 
Now I have my spotlight search here. I'm simply going to type in the word terminal. This is going to go to our terminal. All right, if you don't get if you don't want to get to your terminal that way, you simply go to Finder, Applications, scroll down. Let me give myself a little room here. Scroll down to Utilities. Utilities is here. Once you're in Utilities, you can scroll down to Terminal. Okay, that will open it up as well. I think it's just as easy to do Command T. I'm sorry, command spacebar and type in the word terminal. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm going to type in ls. It's going to give me a list of where it is in the root directory. And it is in the root directory. So I'm going to cd, which stands for change directory. I'm navigating to my... No, I'm not doing that just yet. I got ahead of myself. Fooled you. Okay. <laughs> we need to install CocoaPods. This is really, really quite simple. If you need to follow along with this CocoaPods.org, it is quite easy. Their installation is one line of code, sudogem install CocoaPods. Let's get back to my terminal. So I'm just going to write sudo gem install CocoaPods. It's going to ask me for my computer password. Okay, so I'm typing that in. It will not come up with those security dots, so just know that. Now this will take some time, a minute or two, so don't panic if you don't see anything coming up. All right, here it is imported. Now, I actually paused the recording because it was took about a little over a minute to install, so don't worry about it, and you're not gonna see any kind of progress bar, so just be patient, and it'll take about a minute. So now our Cocoa Pods are installed. All right, so what do we do now? Well, we're gonna go navigate to our Xcode project. I saved mine on my desktop. So here we go. CD, and I'm gonna hit enter. So now it's bringing me into my desktop. So I'm gonna hit LS just to see the list of things on there. And that's about right. Yep, I've had a few things going around here. I was working with some sound uh, files before this. So that's exactly what exists on my desktop right now. So he, where is my project? Remember, oh, here it is, TCLE Firebase 1, okay? So now I'm just gonna say CD. TCLE for my typo, Firebase 1. That's going to get me into that file, okay? So if I type in ls, it'll tell me everything that's in there. There we go. We just have our Xcode project. Okay, now because we've installed CocoaPods, we're going to do something. So when you're in your, whatever you named your Xcode project, type in the word pod in it. This is going to initiate the CocoaPods. Now, all we're going to do is say ls, and I want to show you something. See this? Now we have a new file called pod file in our Xcode project folder, which is on our desktop. Now, mine's on my desktop. You may have saved yours somewhere else. So remember before we had this file and this file. Oh, no, that was really the title of it. And now we have something called a pod file. Okay. Close this out. Close out your Terminator. <laughs> Terminal. Terminator. <laughs> And we can close this um, this tab here. We don't need it. And we're back to our Firebase. I'm going to minimize that. Here we are on my desktop. I'm going to open up my Xcode project. Look at this. So I've got our Xcode project. And this is all the dependent things. Here's something that we created called pod file. This is going to hold our Cocoa Pods. So I'm going to double click on this. And it looks like this. Really kind of boring and plain. First thing I want you to do, because I've forgotten this many times and have spent hours trying to figure out something and realize all I forgot to do was this. So take off that hashtag or pound sign. It says uncomment this line if you're using Swift. So I just merely went from a hashtag or pound sign to undeleting it. So actually deleting it, okay? There, that's good. Don't touch this yet. Let's go back to our documentation. And we are, again, if you got lost, we're in Firebase, uh, iOS, Quick Start Guide, Installation and Setup. We um, installed CocoaPods. We navigated to our project directory. We initiated the, the CocoaPods. We opened it. We didn't open it in the terminal. Just wanted you to see how we're physically opening it up. We just shut it down, went onto the desktop, clicked on pod file. Now, now we're going to install the CocoaPods for Firebase. So all you have to do is just copy this one line of code. Hit copy. I'm going to minimize this. This is our pod file. Remember, I'll do this again. Open it up. 
that's good. My hashtag remained deleted. So target, TC, here's my project names. Make sure your project, your app name is in here. Don't copy mine unless that's what you named it. And then do and end. So in between the do and end, paste that code. This is the Firebase pod. And this has, believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe this is version control. All looks good. I'm going to close all of this out again. Now let's go back to our documentation. We're almost done. All right, so now that we've installed the pod Firebase line right here, now we just need to run it, which is installing it, okay? Again, I'm just minimizing this. I'm going to open up my terminal. And again, I'm going to navigate. Let me see where I am now. Okay, so I'm in my root directory. So I'm going to do combine the steps. So I say CD, desktop. This time I'm just going to do forward slash TCLE Firebase 1. I could have done CD desktop and then CD TCLE Firebase 1 like I did before, but I just want to do it all in one. So now I'm going to my desktop and on my desktop, I'm looking for that file or the folder called that. Hit enter. Let's just make a list. There it is. Okay. Now all we need to do is, so let me just go down here. Like we said before, pod install. So we've set it all up. Go back here, pod install. This will take a, not quite as long as installing the Cocoa Pods. But again, when you're installing Cocoa Pods on your computer, you only need to install it once. So once you install it, you can, you can access that in any Xcode file, but just saying pod in it, that'll create the pod file. And then copy and paste whatever pod module you want to put in there. That's, that's about it. Okay, so this looks good. Again, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to navigate over to our project file. Look at this. We've got a new file here. It's a white file and it's actually said XC workspace, right? From now on, when you're working in Cocoa Pods, you want this. This is where all your pods and dependencies are stored. So let's double click it. Now I'm working in Xcode beta 7.3 and I've had some bugs importing Firebase, even though I followed it to the letter. So I am going to sh walk you through this. We will most likely get an error, but I'm going to show you the workaround. So here you go. You have your, your project files that you're used to seeing in your typical Xcode files. Sorry, yeah, Xcode files. And then here's your pod files. I'm going to open up my pod file. All right, that has everything. I want to make sure that was un uncommented out. This is the name of our app. That looks all good. Now, I'm going to do Command B to build. This seems to help with the debugging. Okay, I'm going to go now up into my ViewController.Swift. Go into Import. Import Firebase. Yes, it's coming up. If you get an error, I find just hitting the Command B helps uh, once you've installed it. And just sort of cleans it all out. Also, make sure you uncomment that line saying use Frameworks. Great. Now we've got Cocoa Pods installed. We've also installed our Firebase pod. And now we're ready to learn more about using Firebase as our server. Next step for the tutorials, we're going to learn how to save the data. I'll see you then.